All right, so this video assumes that you are completely set up with VS Code, um, that you have the um, your your uh, your home page downloaded, installed, set up with um, GitHub Desktop, that, so that you can push it up, and that on GitHub.com you have made it um, uh, live with GitHub Pages. If none of this sounds familiar, then I would um, I have a video that I'll recommend down in the um, the comments where you can kind of get set up with this exact um, setup. Okay, so here we are. I am in Visual Studio Code. I've clicked on this index.html, which is like the, the the homepage, and I clicked on um, Go Live. If you don't have this Go Live button, then you'll need to go to um, Extensions and look for um, Live Server. And you'll see this Live Server 561. You'll want to um, install that and get that running. And then you may have to restart um, VS Code, but um, it, this will show up. Also, if your files aren't showing, it's probably because you need to click on the Explorer button, which looks like two file icons, and that'll kind of toggle the, that, um, that kind of browse window open and closed. All right, so here we are. Maybe um, I'll shrink this down a little so we can get more on the screen. There we go. Okay, so here's my home page right now. I just have um, a very simple nav, and um, here's my main section of my page right now. Excuse me, my main has nothing but a, um, a paragraph, and I thought maybe we could add some some links here. So maybe first one I'll do is um, maybe I want to add a collection of my inspiring sites. So I'm going to say inspiration in a, a H2. Um, generally speaking, with HTML, you only want to have one H1 because it's sort of like the you know the the, the top dog of the page, and then um, as far as the other headers go, you can use them as many times as you want. So um, we could have multiple H2s here. So um, I'm going to add an inspiration, and then maybe I'm going to add um, an image. So the image tag, if you type IMG, Emmett will fill that in for you. And so we need a source and we need an alt. Um, I haven't had added the image yet, so what I want to do is add it to my images directory. Um, I've taken a screenshot of a site, so let me go grab that real quick if I can find it. Um, okay, I think it's this one. I'm going to um, move it to that folder. Um, a tip here, if you're on a Mac, you'll want to um, drag this folder over to your, um, your favorites so you can get to it quickly. So the way that you can do that is if I right click on this um, folder name, I can go back one, so I put mine in sites, um, then I can just drag this over, and then that way um, I can just click right here and get get there immediately. So here's my homepage. Um, I'm going to double click images, and here's my images. Um, I gave all of you guys a very cute picture of a pygmy marmoset. Um, okay, so here's the site I want, and then I don't remember the name of it actually. Um, yes, oh, I have everything in Dropbox. Okay. Um, let me, I know it's a chocolate site, so I'll just call it a chocolate. You want to keep that .png, um, I'll just call it choc, and then let me find it. I should have had this, I should pause while I find it probably. I know it was a Denmark site. Okay, I'm going to pause and go find it. Okay, I found it. It's called Simply Chocolate dot dk and it just has really fun interactions um there's some moving background images there's this cool tear thing you can like tear open the chocolate um just super fun and also i like their nav that they have um a, a vertical nav so let's um grab the link just the home page link i don't need any of the sub pages and then I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code. I like to tap um, Command Tab around and Command Shift Tab so that you can kind of um, jump around to your apps, to your different apps. 
So there's my source. Um, I also want a link, and I'm going to put the link around the image. So I'm going to say A, and then tab. And then since I have that um, link in my clipboard right now, I can do Command V to paste it in. Um, v is uh, Command V, Command C are your friend. You can also say um, Edit um, Paste. So see how all the the key commands are listed up here. These are really your friend when it comes to coding. So command V, we'll paste that in. And then for my image, um, so now it's in the images directory and it's called chalk.png. So I can say images chalk.png. And um, I'll just put an alt tag of simply chocolate. That will only appear if my, for some reason, my image is broken. So one thing um, to note is that I am naming all of my directories in lowercase, and I tend to, especially if I rename them, tend to name my images all lowercase. That's because that, that um, the case sensitivity is um, not so bad on um, your machine, especially on a Mac, but once you push it up to the GitHub server where you're going to be hosting all of these um, live, it will break um, your image if you have any case discrepancies. So um, just kind of the, the best rule of thumb, make sure your file names and your directories are always lowercase um, and you won't run into issues. Somebody, um, there's always a few of you that will and there's easy ways to fix it. So no big deal, but um, it's just kind of a good practice. So let's take a look at this. Um, I'll just, probably still have it open. Okay, so here's my home page. Hit refresh. Oh, I gotta restart my server or something. I must have oh right when I was showing you the go live. Um okay so here is my image. Um it's taking up the whole screen. So what if I don't want it to take up the whole screen? Also um my link doesn't seem to work so let's check that out. Oh so the link isn't working because it's actually not wrapped around the image. When Emmett automatically made that tag for me, it automatically made a closing tag, but it put the closing tag, see this slash A, it put it before the image. So I need to cut that part. So Command X is cut, um, or you can go up and say Edit Cut. And then I want to move it to the end of that image tag. See how uh, Visual Studio Code also added this um, um, forward slash um, to the end of the image tag? That's just, um, it's just like cleaning up the editing on it. It's actually not necessarily for, for uh, um, HTML5, but um, Visual Studio Code likes it. Okay, so now that I do that, and I, I go back here and I hit refresh, um, now I've got an image that's clickable. And if I click on it, It'll take me to Simply Chocolate. This has a weird error on it, I don't know. Um, okay, so there's, is my, um, there's my site. So what if I don't want it to take over my homepage? I have to hit the back button now to get back to my homepage. So there is a tag you can add, um, an attribute called target. Target, one of the values um, that you'll be using a lot is um, underscore blank. And what that does to tell the browser to open that target, which is this href, a new window. We save that now. So I, I use command s to save. You can use some file save. But um, I would start to get used to the commands. Um, and then I hit refresh. So an R R for refresh, or is it window? I don't even remember where refresh is. Edit. Um, view. I can't remember where refresh lives. Command R. Reload this page. Okay, so it's under view. Um, now if I click on this, it'll open it in a brand new tab. Um, so, this, uh, your homepage has a CSS file associated with it. Let's open my files back up. And here's my style. So I want to add a size to that image. And um, there's a few ways to do this. I generally like to have my images be 100% because I want them to be 
100% of whatever container they're in. And that has to do with, um, like, if I was to have a grid of images, I would want them to be the width of the, like, the card or whatever you want to call it, the column that they're in. Um, but for now, let's just do one special class for this image um, and th that we can use for our inspirational images if we want, and maybe we'll change it later. So in my image tag, you can add it here, you can add it down here. I want to add a class. So I'm going to say class equals, and then I'm just going to call it Inspiro. Inspiro image. I'm sure there's a class. Inspiro image. And um, these, these claims can be whatever you want. A lot, a very common one is um, they call this code case because it's like, you know, different chunks connected by um, a, a, a stick. Um, you can also do like what's called camel case, which is sort of like here's the camel, here's his hump. So each new word has um, has like a um, an uppercase. Um, you just don't ever want to have a number in front. That won't work. Um, or any weird characters like ampersand um, or at. Um, they, those are reserved for other purposes. So okay, here we are. Let's just. Um, I've got an H1. I've got an anchor tag with target equals blank. I've got my image, um, the anchor tag, the start of it is before the image, the end is after. And then I've got this class um, of Inspire image. I'm just going to copy that name and then click on style.css to get back there. And I'm going to add it to the bottom. I generally like to have like my basic um, HTML styles up at, at the top and then more specific down below. Um, so I'm going to paste in the name of that class. But remember, CSS needs to have a dot in front of it in order to recognize that, oh yeah, this is a class, not an HTML tag. Right? So, um, so inspire image, curly brackets, and then I'm going to say width of, uh, well, we'll just say 400 semicolon. So um, I don't need to assign a height because height by default will just be auto. It'll just auto size it so that it keeps its um, uh, aspect ratio. So let's try that out. Review. Okay. And then or, uh, reload. And so there's my 400 pixel image. It has um, a link around it. And um, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to save this sucker and then we'll move on to um, fonts. Okay, thanks.